let's have a look at question two now prove that for any price and m which is greater than zero we always spend a share of beta over alpha plus beta of our income on this pizza we can use our results to prove this okay so let's go to our results since we can use them we're gonna we're gonna be pretty fast here so where is it here we have our quantity that's just the quantity demanded now we want to know the share of income that we spend on this quantity demanded of pizza on this Q now the share of income has to be something related with M okay and the money that we spend on this Q on this pizza has to be the quantity that we eat times the price for it and we know that the price for pizza is just P and we can see that we have this relationship price and Q and also M so something is gonna work out let's uh, take price on this side let's basically do a cross product here we would have Q times P that's what we want so we would have Q times P that's the money that we spend on pizza and what are we left with we're left with beta divided by alpha plus beta times M we also see the M so we have the relationship that we said what's beta divided by alpha plus beta that's gonna be the share the proportion from our money that we spend on this good on this pizza and let's see if that's the case in our question uh, yes here beta divided by alpha plus beta so we are right and that's it we are done